So this video is going to be third part of the splay tree series. And in first part, we saw what is the basic use case and what is all about splay tree. Second part, we saw that like how to insert the elements in the tree. Now this part will see like how you should search the data in the splay tree. Because although it is a binary search tree, but it requires a, some extra stuff after doing each and every operations like insertion, deletion and searching. So without wasting any further time, let's start it. So if this is your root, then this whole is the tree. We want to search these elements and we will see like in every search, how this whole tree will transform into some different tree and then some different tree. So first of all, we are looking for 19. So if you pass this root or tree into some function and pass this 19 there, you can directly check if root is 19 and yeah, that is bingo. It is 19 and you found that. So there is no change if root is the one you are looking for. So this is gone. I mean, I had to take this case because then people might get confused. So if you are looking for 10 now, so here notice very important thing is you will search 10 because as this is binary search tree, it will go into the left and then left and then you will find it. So once you find it, you will say, yes, it is there. But actually before returning, you will modify this whole tree because that's the whole part that's called splaying. That's why this tree is called splaying tree. I mean, splay tree. So we searched and we found that 10 is also there true. 19 is also there true. So how this tree will get transformed, we'll see that. So before going there, I would like to explain something what I have explained before. So just quickly have a recap. If your node, what you are actually interested in splaying is this guy and it is forming like this. So this is your grandparent, this is parent and this is child. So if this is your interested node, you are playing, I mean, splaying this and this is what the path is. What do I mean by path? Actually, it has to become root. That is the only goal. You want to see this 10 as root. So to make it root, this is the path. It will go here. It will not go to 18 and then from here it will go root, right? Because then it is a bigger path or there is no point in doing that because you want to go to the root. That's the whole idea. So if you are having left left rotation, I mean left left situation, then your result is going to be right and right. And if this was A, this was B and this is C and you wanted to make it like this, then C will come here, B will always be in the center and A will come here. Okay, it will just get reversed. And similarly, if your formation is actually like this, then it will become like this. So A will go here and B will be in the center and C will come down. Okay, so if it is left, left, it will become right. If it is right, right, it will become left, left. And if it is like this, so your interested node is this and it is forming this path, then you have to rotate it like this. It has to come down and this will go up because remember this, this is binary search tree. So if this is the form meaning, actually this is less than this. So possibility is this is nine and maybe this is seven. Then only this can come in the left hand side of this one, right? So if seven want to go up, obviously nine will go right of seven. So this is going to look something like this and similarly if your situation is this then this will come down and this will go up so basically what i mean is if this guy is greater and this is smaller and if you rotate obviously this is going to be the formation and this is this guy and this is this guy and this will obviously come in the left hand side because maybe this is the number like one and two so one is less than Two, that's why it should come in the left hand side. So I think this is pretty clean. Let's quickly swap. I mean, splay 10. So if we are splaying 10, I told you that if this is the formation, this, this, and this, then it will become this, this, and this, right? Let's do that. So first 10 will come and then 16 will always be there like that. And then 19 will come. Correct. Then 19, 20 will be as it is. There is no change in that case. And 16 is now holding in the right hand side 19. So 18 was there in the 16. So it have to rearrange itself. So how it will rearrange? It will go in the left hand of the 
19. And see, 13 was there in the right of 10. So this will also get rearranged and it will go in the left hand of 16. So after playing 10, your tree would look, I mean, this is the end result. Actually, if you see program, it will be two pass operation. Here I'm showing in the one pass itself because we have cracked. Like if this is the one, it will be like this. Or if this is the one, then it is going to be like this and vice versa. And you know what? All about that zig, 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 zag and zag, 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 zig. All those things are pretty confusing. Just remember one thing, I'll give you a clear cut solution. You can call zig, zig to left and left or zag, zag to right. And then you use this combination. So if you have this formation, then this is zig and then zag. If you have this one, then you have zag, zig. So you can choose. I mean, there is no big deal. You, you, if you are writing on paper or giving some exam, you first specify what you mean by zig or zig or zig or zag, I mean, zag, zag. Then interviewer, I mean, whoever is checking your question papers, they can easily know like what you meant because this, there is no special or standard rule. I mean, so we are done with 10. Now let's go for 16. If this is the one we are looking for, we'll return true. Yeah, that we found it, but then we will play this. Let's do that. So this is the formation, right? So how this is going to look like, let's first change this only. So 16 will go up and now what 10 is not going to come in the right hand side. Obviously 10 will go in the left hand side and this is going to be as it is. I mean this 19 and then this 20 and this 18. There is no change in this. Okay. But we have 13 here. So 13 was in the left hand side of this 16 before 10 occupied that place. So 13 have to rearrange itself. So 13 will go in the right hand, sorry, left hand side, and then it will go in the right hand side. Then 13 will come here. That's it. And then let's say this is the last one. So if you see this, here is the node. So if you start looking for 20 from here, 20 is bigger than 16, bigger than 19. Yeah, we found 20. You will return true, but then you will play this. And now this is forming this. Then you have to convert it like this. Okay. So how will do that? Let's see. I will quickly write 20 and then here we will have 19 and then we will have 16 here. Okay. And this 10 was already there in the left hand side of 16. So it is not disturbed. And this 13 was there in the right of this 10. So these two are not disturbed. And what is disturbed here is 18. So 18 have to get rearranged. It will go in the left hand side and the left hand side and then it will go into the right hand side. So 18 will come here. So this is your final result. I know this is not some pretty looking tree after splaying, but I can guarantee you that this is the result. And actually this helps a lot in some scenarios. We will discuss all those scenarios in different videos. So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care.